Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like you to welcome the radiography graduates from the class of 2022. Good evening. I would like to welcome you to the college and thank you for coming to join in the celebration for the graduates of the 22nd radiography class. The program has come a long way since the first class started 23 years ago in August of 1999. Our first charter, charter class graduated 15 students. Tonight we have 34 students celebrating the completion of the program. Since 2001, with the first graduating class and including tonight's graduates, the program has graduated 633 individuals into the medical imaging profession. Of the 633 graduates, over 95% are currently working at our seven clinical affiliates. Presently, there are 25 graduates from the programs who are working at the Hospital for Special Surgery in New York City which, as many of you know, is a world-renowned hospital. At this time, I would like all the radiologic technologists, and I've saw many of you, from our clinical affiliates who are here tonight to please stand and be recognized. A special thank you to you for your patience, knowledge, and technical skills that you have given the graduates over the past two years. You are very important to this program, and I deeply appreciate each and every one of you. Another group of individuals who are special to me are our clinical instructors. They, are very imp they have a very important role in the program for the past 23 years. The success of the program would have not been possible without the dedication from these faculty members. And finally, I would like to thank Dr. Iacona, Dr. Simmons, Vice President Enright, Dr. Iazoza, and the Board of Trustees for their continued support of the program. Those being honored here this evening have successfully completed courses in both academic and clinical areas. Unlike Unlike most programs at CCM, the program is a full 24 months. Therefore, this program demands a tremendous amount of time and dedication in the area of academic studying and clinical education. The students who completed the program have a great deal to be proud of, for they have, they have worked extremely hard to achieve the great, this great accomplishment. However, these graduates could not have been so successful without the love and support of their family and friends. Therefore, I would like to thank the parents, spouses, brothers, sisters, boyfriends, girlfriends, and most especially the children for their patience and encouragement over the past two years. I am sure that at times it was very difficult for you to understand, to be understanding and patient with the student, especially at a high point of their stress level. 
but without you, it would would not have been you. Excuse me. Without you, it would have made it more difficult. Now, I'd like to say a few words to the graduates, if I can get through this. Two years ago, there were 39 students who entered the program. Today, 34 of you have completed the program or are being honored tonight. If you can remember back to the first semester, taking a hand radiograph seemed to be a difficult task. Talking to the patients was unheard of, and doing a barium, barium enema was asking the impossible. <laughs> but today, a ha hand radiograph is a snap to do. Talking to patients comes naturally, and the BE might be a little unpopular, but it can be done accurately and with speed. You have come a long way from the first day of the program. And it has been a privilege and an honor to see how you've grown into medical imaging professionals. You have spent the past two years working very hard for this day. You have enjoyed many long hours of studying to be able to reach this great accomplishment this evening. Most of you had to forfeit time spent with families and friends to be able to be successful in this program. This is a 24-month program which leaves full time off for rest and relaxation. For most of you, you can't believe this is the last day in the program. It is time that you leave the comfort of the nest and fly out on your own. Tomorrow will be the beginning of something new, a change in your life. And before you start this new adventure, I will say this for the last time. Study for your registry exam, open the review books, and use them. You only want to take this exam one time. I hope that you will use this opportunity as a beginning rather than an end, realizing you have now closed one chapter in a world full of many new opportunities. I wish you success in your future endeavors and Godspeed. Dr. Enright was, um, Vice President Enright was not able to join us tonight due to health reasons, but Dr. Simmons, who you can always count on, has come through and will say a few words to the graduates. Good afternoon, everyone. How the heck are y'all? Pretty good? I find this uh, quite symbolic um, that I have been asked to speak um, before this class, um, especially on behalf of Dr. Ayakano, the president of CCM, and uh, Vice President um, Patrick Enright. Um, I know this class, um, but I don't necessarily know them by face. I know them by emails. A lot of emails. You see, I was the person responsible to manage all of the COVID cases for our students over the course of the last two years. And I must say, many of those situations occurred with the radiography students, the nursing students, and the respiratory therapy students for obvious reasons. And so while I hope that the world continues to make some improvements as it relates to COVID, and that we stop talking about it. I want to focus on that with this class because you all began during COVID. You all stuck with it throughout COVID. And you are now graduating as we come out of COVID. Yes, yes. I know the struggles that you all have experienced just under normal circumstances with the rigors of this program and then having to manage the family responsibilities, the work responsibilities, the friendship responsibilities, and staying on task. It has been a struggle, but yet you all have made it, and you have made it with pride, with distinction, and you all should be so very grateful. I congratulate you all for having done a phenomenal job. I know that it has not been easy. But what I also know is that you could not have done this alone, and were it not for the extraordinary faculty who represent our radiography program, pushing you, encouraging you, supporting you, teaching you, you wouldn't be sitting here today. And so class, if you don't mind standing, 
and giving a round of applause to the fine faculty who sit over here and behind me for their extraordinary work. Thank you, you can be seated. I also want to thank um, some really good friends of County College of Morris, and those are members of our Board of Trustees. These are individuals who you all don't get a chance to see on a regular basis, but I am so familiar with them, and um, I am so very grateful that three members of the board are with us this afternoon, and I would like to introduce them, uh, starting with Trustee Lauren Iangamore, who you will hear from in a few moments. Uh, Trustee Paul Lissitra, who is always at these events. Mr. Lissitra, please. And then a special welcome to her first official um, radiography event of trustee and former professor of English, uh, trustee Laura Gabrielson. The three of them are here representing our board of trustees. Thank you very much. I want to say one final thing to you all, and it, I might make this a little personal. Um, I have had the pleasure, I might cry. I have had the pleasure of working at this enormously fine institution for the last 42 years. And I stepped down in my role as the Vice President of Student Development and Enrollment Management just one month ago. And I am one month into my retirement. People have been asking me, Betty, how are you enjoying retirement? I can't say that I'm enjoying it um, because my life has been this institution. And the biggest part of that life for me has been individuals like you. I started my career to be there to support students, to help them realize the goals and the dreams and the aspirations that they had in mind, to help their families support them and make sure that you had all of the financial support, you had the emotional support, that you had the friendship support that you needed to get through. And I know that members of your family have sacrificed a lot so that you all could realize your goals. It has been my privilege to work at this institution and I will have you think very deeply about the last two years. It has been our privilege to have you all as students at this fine institution. And I want you all to take the memories of the last two years, go forward, continue to do extraordinary work, take care of those who need it the most, and remember that you made it in one of the most difficult times in society's period. Congratulations and best wishes. As a wonderful supporter of the radiography program for the past 23 years, we already miss you, and it's only been a month. So, this is for you. Dr. Ayazada, would you like to say a few words? Isa no? I thought you were going to ask the Board of Trustees member to come up. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Isaza. <laughs> I'm the Dean of the School of Health Professions and Natural Sciences. Um, it's very hard to follow Dr. Simmons, as you can imagine, right? So I think it's very little much that I can say, but the one thing that I want to say, a couple of things. First, first of all, welcome. Thank you for being here celebrating with us, our students. Second, let's congratulate them again. I do want to say to you guys, this is the beginning, right? So we are extremely, extremely proud of what you have accomplished. But remember, you need to pass your exams. <laughs> and I'm looking at the statistics all the time and make sure that you surpass the last class. What was last class? Almost 90 something percent passing rate. Can you do 100 percent? They can. Yes, yes, you can. Exactly. So that's going to be your compromise, 100% on passing the boards. That's going to be amazing if they do that. So let's make sure that they do it, okay? So thank you again for joining us today.
today, tonight, I have the pleasure to introduce our uh, trustee, Ingana Moore. She's going to give us a message in behalf of the Board of Trustees. Thank you. Thank you. I promise not to take too much time. All right. It is my great pleasure to be here at the radiography graduation for you. Um, on behalf of the entire Board of Trustees, I extend my warmest congratulations to you all on receiving this incredible degree. Um, to all the families and friends with us today and to those who could not be here but are thinking of our graduates as they celebrate this very special moment, thank you. Thank you for the encouragement that you've offered and in many cases, the sacrifices that you have made so that your student could earn the degree that they will take home today. To our incredible faculty, I would like to express the college's tremendous gratitude to you for your flexibility, resilience, and resolve in providing our students with the best education during a time of great upheaval. When we needed a bit of creativity to accomplish the truly aggressive goals of this program, you delivered. And finally, to our graduates, we are here today to participate in the praise and wonder at your achievements. Um, having started your education in the middle of a pandemic, you have shown that you not only challenge boundaries, but you break through them and redefine them. These characteristics, which are not easily taught in a classroom, uh, will be just as important as those things that you've learned in the classrooms here at CCM as you embark on your careers. That's why today's commencement is more than a celebration of what you have accomplished. It is a celebration of what you will accomplish. For people in need, for our community's health, for top-rated healthcare systems, and even for yourself and your very proud families. There has never been a more important time in recent history to commit oneself to a medical field. It is our privilege to congratulate you on this decision and your incredible accomplishments. Congratulations. <clears throat> okay, Dr. Lane, who is a radiology, radiologist resident at the, at the Atlantic Health System, was, is unable to be here tonight because of a hospital commitment. But he sends his congratulations, and Noel Wolf will read a letter that he sent. Good evening, everyone. Um, Dr. Lane was asked to speak um, on our behalf tonight because he really is a, profo a profound example of an outstanding physician and a student. Um, in the hospital, I know that he made a big difference for a lot of us, especially in our floral rotations, always willing to show us new things and uh, really have a connection with the patient. Sometimes, maybe online, you see jokes or like TikTok videos of radiologists ducking into dark reading rooms. And that's true, trust me. But um, that's not Dr. Lane. He's very personable and um, he really makes a difference. So I'm honored to read these words on his behalf tonight. To the most wonderful radiology technologist a radiologist could ask for, I extend my deepest apologies I could not be there in person due to a sudden work conflict, but hopefully these words convey how proud I am to, of each and every one of you. Congratulations on accomplishing this amazing feat. Today is the day to look back at all you have experienced and endured to get where you are now. Aren't you so proud of what you've achieved? Remember this moment when things get tough. Remember you can accomplish great things. I have cherished working with you, and it was an honor to teach each and every one of you. Thank you for being so eager to learn and ask questions. Thank you for your patience with your patience. I have seen firsthand your goodness and your gratitude. A fond memory I will always cherish is the big cake and wonderful card with all of your kind words. These amazing traits and attributes 
will serve you well during your careers. You will all make wonderful radiologic technologists wherever you go, and your future patients, colleagues, and employers will be lucky to have you. I wish nothing but the best for each and every one of you. Congratulations to the class of 2022, Dr. Lane. Now I'd like to ask Gretchen Burns, the class president, to come up and say a few words. Good afternoon. How is everybody? Doing all right? Up in the back, you're good? Okay, we're feeling rad, right guys? Okay. <laughs> well, good afternoon. I have to start out by thanking all of you for being here on this very, very special day. My name is Gretchen, and I am so humbled and ecstatic to be standing in front of you this afternoon as the class president representing the CCM radiography class of 2022. Well, class, what a roller coaster of a ride. Oh, man, the ups and the downs, we stuck through it. I am so proud of us. We walked into orientation back in, in the summer of 2020, a different person than we are today. Remember wearing the masks? We didn't even know what each other looked like. <laughs> I remember afterwards, Verna saying, when the masks were lifted, Verna was like, wait, can you just go like this so I know who you are? <laughs> um, we, we went from random strangers to our own little community where lasting friendships were made. We laughed and we cried together. We experienced the ups and the downs together. The challenges of this program are extremely difficult, especially trying to navigate through COVID and online classes. We were pushed to our max at times, or many times, but we pulled through. Thank you to the staff and volunteers that helped put this afternoon together for us. Family and friends, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being there for us. Like, you are the core to this program, too. Um, I know it hasn't been the easiest, but you're the ones that lifted us up outside the classroom and the clinical settings. Thank you for not giving up on us. I know I can speak for many of us when I say we have missed way too many family and friend get-togethers, and I cannot wait to catch up with all of you. <laughs> Professors, thank you for not giving up on us as well and pushing us to be our very best. Thank you for the countless hours you spent teaching, grading, and guiding us. Thank you for sharing your knowledge with us and being willing and open to grow from our questions upon questions at the same time. Because we know there was, were a lot of questions. <laughs> Clinical instructors, you're the backbone. You're the backbone to this program. Thank you for not only being our instructors in the hospital and outpatient centers, but also becoming our friends and an ear to listen or shoulder to cry on when school, home, and personal life got tough. This program is because of all of you. Thomas Edison was asked by a reporter, how did it feel to fail 1,000 times? Edison replied, I did not fail 1,000 times. The light bulb was an invention with 1,000 steps. Think about it. While growing in school, we thought we failed many times. But look, it took all of those steps, all of those steps to learn and to grow, and here we are, graduation. We have so many more steps to take while we start our brand new careers. But my point is this, never, ever, ever look at yourself as a failure, ever. Instead, use those mistakes to learn from, to grow, and to make yourselves the very best you. Never give up on yourself. 
never quit. Accept mistakes and learn from them. Be always be humble and always be kind. Know when to step up and when to step back. Have a blast pursuing your dreams. I am so excited for you. Work is not work unless you don't like what you do. Have fun. Whether this is where you are stopping or just the first step in your education, be true to yourself and what you want. Remember, we are the CCM Radiography Class of 2022, and we will forever be our own little family. So continue to learn and grow. We did a class. I am so, so, so proud of us. Congratulations. Ready, Robbie? Um, can I ask Dr. Simmons to come up, Dr. E. Zeisler to come up, a Board of Trustees member, it doesn't matter who, would like to come up, yeah. Professor Verna, Hello and welcome, and my job is to get everybody's name correctly and pronounced correctly. So, we, we did a little homework before we started, so. Can my first row please stand up? Okay. All right. Priscilla Tasso Badini, summa cum laude. <laughs> Alma Benusi. <laughs> Gretchen Burns, cum laude. Daria Darren. Amber Drake. Jennifer Duke. Joseph Forlenza, magnum cum laude. <laughs> Kaylee Gorman, magnum cum laude. Maria Hegman, cum laude. <laughs> Samantha Heckel. Macy Houlihan, summa cum laude. <laughs> Angela Ayarado. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sori Kaba. Jeffrey Cooper, summa cum laude. Sarah McKenna, cum laude. Corey Miller, cum laude. <laughs> Wakiria Mulvani. Amy Jean Nidell, Magnum Kulabi. <laughs> Adam Oshalski, Cum Laude. Diana Orozco. <laughs> Brittany Perfetti. Nicole Pietraskowitz. <laughs> Nicholas Redavid. Kelly Romlin. <laughs> Brianna Rossi, cum laude. Esau Sadik. <laughs> Christina Sawajid. Madison Schultz, cum laude. <laughs> Christina Stiles. <laughs> That's 
great. Brittany Tester. Alexandria Titmus. <laughs> Todd Van Valanderen, cum laude. Noelle Wolf. <laughs> Summa cum laude. <laughs> Kim Yardley Zafir. Wait till Kimmy gets in her seat. <laughs> okay, so the lovely yellow rose that you all got this evening is not for you. <laughs> we love you dearly. However, you should give that rose to somebody that helped you through the program, whether it be a friend, a family member, a child, okay? That's who you give the, pro the rose to at the end of tonight, okay? It's not for you to keep, I'm sorry. <laughs> As you all heard this evening, this is a very difficult program. It's difficult to get into, and it's difficult to stay in. All of the students, all the graduates sitting up here either had A's and B's in the seven prerequisites courses before they came, were accepted into the program. Then they come into this program and all of a sudden my straight A's aren't my straight A's anymore, okay? Um, it's a difficult program. We tell them that up front and they have found it out after two years how difficult it is. But I know all of them in here are well prepared for their boards and they will be successful. We have a few items or a few awards to give out once I find my paper. Okay. Um, so in order to, um, we have two or really now three academic excellence awards for students that have the highest GPA in the program. I'm happy to announce that we have a student with a 4.0. That's the overall 4.0 for CCM. All courses that they ever took at CCM, that was their grade point average. And that is Noelle Wolf. And as wonderful as the 4.0 is, and we're not going to take away from that, we have somebody that's right behind her with a 3.985, and that is Priscilla Padini.
And right behind Priscilla is a student with a 3.949. And this award is given in memory of a um, New York State educator, Professor Verna, Professor Bebo, um, Professor Vashurin. We all belong to the New York Educator Society along with the New Jersey one. And this award is given each year to the student um, with a high GPA and this year this goes to Jeffrey Cooper. And now I'll turn this over to Professor Bebo. Okay, I get to um, give the award out for exceptional patient care, and we have two students that are getting that award. Okay. Um, the first student that this award is being given to, um, I was lucky enough to have in one of my clinical sites this summer of their last semester. And the one thing you noticed right away is how smoothly and seamlessly she worked with her patients. There was always a lot of um, fun involved. And her patient care was just always exceptional. And this award goes to Alexandria Titmus. student to get an award, I did not have the privilege of having in my clinical site, but when I asked her name to any of the clinical instructors, their eyes lit up and they were like, oh my goodness, you're absolutely right. She's just exceptional. They said she's very sweet, she's very soft-spoken, and she's especially kind. And this is Kaylee Gorman. Congratulations. Well, it's my time to say congratulations and tell you how extremely proud I am of all of you. Those, don't cry? What do you mean don't cry? <laughs> That's what I do best. <laughs> I really want to congratulate you so much and I also want to thank you for the opportunity to be part of your education. It was such a pleasure, truly. I feel a very special connection to all of you because I think it's, we spent this personal time on Zoom. Um, <laughs> I got to have my coffee with all of you while you were sitting in your kitchens, in your dining rooms, in your beds. <laughs> I got to hear Diana speaking Spanish to her family when she forgot to mute. <laughs> I was able to meet Angie's beautiful daughter and Adam's adorable nieces. And then there was the search for Alma when she decided to rest her eyes a bit. <laughs> Seeing Noelle's Christmas decorations that started in November brought joy to all of us. Of particular interest was the girl in the basement, as Nicole was first known. <laughs> that lasted until she saw a spider and decided she needed to find another place in the house. But by far the best reactions I get on Zoom was when I started asking review questions. Pages started turning, bathroom breaks became necessary. One morning I asked Kaylee a question. Kaylee made believe she was frozen. <laughs> I did not know this at the time, but I do have to give her some credit for being a fast thinker. <laughs> 
I appreciate you all for being so incredibly attentive during that time. It was a learning experience for all of us. And now I find it so rewarding to see you interact with your patients. Continue to remember to treat your patients as you would want your loved ones to be treated. Be active in your profession and continue to learn new things. This is only the beginning. Use your x-ray vision whenever possible and don't forget the heated blanket. Congratulations. I am very fortunate to work with an outstanding group of clinical instructors, most of whom are graduates of this program. And I thank you all for your hard work. It is so appreciated. I would also like to recognize Faye Nemchak, who couldn't be here tonight, but put together this beautiful video presentation. Every now and then, when a, one of our students hits a bump in the road, they look for extra help and they reach out to this clinical instructor. Her patience, guidance, and love for the profession has helped our, our students cross the finish line. I am very proud to present this award to Nicole Wilfram. You have to come up to get it. <laughs> I don't want to say anything. Okay. <laughs> clinical and didactic. Huh? Clinical and didactic. The clinical and didactic award goes to the student that demonstrates proficiency both didactically and clinically. Along with an excellent GPA, the student has the ability to image a patient with preciseness and confidence. Treating the patient with kindness and concern comes natural. Watching this student interact with patients brings me total joy. The Clinical and Didactic Award goes to the very, very sparkly Brianna Rossi. <laughs> The Clinical Award. This award is given to the student who has distinguished themselves as having excellent clinical skills. This includes having an excellent attitude towards the profession, a willingness to learn, and be being an asset to the health profession. This year, we are pleased to award two students in this category. Both of these students have received many compliments from staff and instructors in regards to their professionalism, compassion, and competence. This year's recipients of the clinical awards go to Nicole Piotrakowski and Isoa Sadek. Just a side note, um, Nicole's mom was also a graduate of the program that I had a pleasure teaching. And um, Esau's brother, Adam, was also a graduate of the program. So we are a big family. Thank you. Colin Powell once said, a dream doesn't become reality through magic. It takes sweat, determination, and hard work. This program is most definitely hard work, and how you approach it can make all the difference. The student receiving this award started getting credits towards this program quite a few years ago. Holding down a job, bringing up a family, and trying to perfect the English language. When I approached the clinical instructors regarding this student, comments were so conscientious, dedicated, never gives up, always willing to learn, never says I don't know how, but says, show me how. The student is always kind, respectful, appreciative to everyone they come in contact with. For me, I enjoy positive attitude and the warmth that comes with a smile that makes you want to smile. 
Sometimes the journey through this program takes a little longer than planned, but it is so worth it. I am happy to present the most dedicated student award to Walkiria Mulvaney. <laughs> The Outstanding Classmate Award, this award is voted on by the members of the class. Some of the qualities that were mentioned about this student include went above and beyond to help us through a semester that was our hardest, made herself available when needed, helped us to have successful fundraisers, has a truly pure heart, she would be a great professor for CCM. I could not agree more with the comments made by the students. We were truly blessed to have Noelle Wolf. I just want to say thank you guys for this. It means a lot to me. Um, we've all had a lot of support getting through this program, uh, especially as evidenced by the turnout tonight but I don't want you to take anything away from yourselves and the effort that you put into this because my tutoring class wasn't mandatory. You all made the decision, decision to show up. You all made the choice to get up every morning for clinical. You put the effort in. At the end of the day, it was all on you and you guys did it. And um, I'm really proud of this class too. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to also um, give my gratitude to the faculty of the program and especially the many clinical instructors that um, devote themselves to this program as well and devote themselves to fostering talent in a field that I have so much passion for and that I'm so fortunate to have worked many years in myself. Um, and not only that, but you can't teach passion. and. What they do is they inspire it, um, which I find really inspiring myself. Um, and then finally, to our family and friends, I want to say thanks for putting up for us for the last two years. It's been tough. <laughs> thanks. Um, I would like to ask Jonathan Gill to come up to press the Jason Gill Award. Hi, everyone. Um, I just want to start off by thanking CCM for this opportunity um, and congratulating everyone on graduating today. As some of you may know, this is the third year we are giving out an award in memory of my brother, Jason Gill, who, has a, who also sat exactly where you guys are sitting today. He was loved by many of his classmates and professors. Jason's personality was something special and, tru and truly stood out. He was the type of person to bring positivity wherever he was, not only in, to the classroom, but to his patients during his clinical rotation as well. He has touched many lives and continues to do so today. Thanks to Tri-County Orthopedics and the many who have donated, we are able to present to you this award today. The two graduates chosen to receive the award are Diana Orozco and Sari Kaba. Thank you. You want to say anything else? That's about it. Did you write anything else? <laughs> no. <laughs> Diana, come up, please. <laughs> these these are checks. Um, Jason had worked for um, Tri County Orthopedics. And they're matching um, each year um, 
for $225 to help with the students' boards. Um, and then the friends of Jason, family and friends of Jason's um, are giving also a check um, for $225. And this is a memory of Jason Gill, who died three years ago today. One more. Priscilla, Gretchen, Kelly, and Jeff, you want to come up? Please do so. Okay. I'll sit. Is Professor Bedini here? Where are you? Please stand. Make your way here, please. Come on up. Make your way here, please. I just have to say, this woman is one like no other. I love her. She's been my CI for months and months. CI meaning clinical instructor, so she worked with me in the hospitals. Okay, sorry. Am I embarrassing you? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Alana, we cannot thank you enough for stepping up to the plate to not being only one of the best clinical instructors, but also an amazing professor. You were so willing to step up to the plate to teach and to learn from us and to respond to questions we had as soon as you were available. And I mean within like minutes, she get back to you. <laughs> you put us first, never change, be you. You are wise and you are gracious. You're one to be taught from. Your smile brings smiles to others because of who you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of our hearts for every ounce of energy you have poured into us and this program the last couple of years. I really, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are all really sweet. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> and Professor Fay, I know you're watching online. She was unable to be here today. Um, she was amazing as well. She stepped up to the plate and just taught us so much. And I'm just so appreciative of everything that she taught us. Um, so we see you, girl. We are on camera. <laughs> Thank you so much. everyone. I uh, just want to give some more recognition to our faculty. Um, so we have a plaque here. With our greatest appreciation, we hereby present Professor Ann Bershuren for giving your time, energy, and talent to ensure the brightest future for each of us. You are being honored with much appreciation and gratitude. Yeah, Class of 2022, County College of Mars. Thank you. With our greatest appreciation, we hereby present Professor Denise Villeneuve for your dedication, hard work, and leadership to ensure that we receive the best education. You're being honored with much appreciation and gratitude. Class of 2022. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. That's pretty. Thank you. With our greatest appreciation, we hereby present Professor Sue Ann Verna for your unwavering support, unrelenting guidance, and excellence in teaching that helped in leading our path to success. You are being honored with much appreciation and gratitude, class of 2022. turn your papers to your slideshow.
Priscilla and Amy put together this slideshow that we're going to show you now of all their memories for the past two years. Thank you for all, for all of you for coming this evening. 
please wait till the graduates exit the auditorium before you leave. And once again, congratulations to the class of 2022. I wanted to ask Priscilla, but I couldn't catch her eye. <laughs> <laughs> 